All right. How are we doing? Uh, I'm still in the middle of chin up, but I've got another kit uh, that's come over the last couple of days. So uh, I'm just going to have a quick look through it. Move my camera back a bit. My camera, my phone. Uh, I've said in past that uh, I've, I've, I've really got to want to build a kit to, to put my heart and soul into it. And with this one, uh, I really, really do. Uh, I love Tomcats. Uh, I'm from that era that uh, Top Gun, do you know what I mean? There's blokes as old as me that just, that loved it, loved that era and, and fell in love with that bird and now we're one of them. Uh, I've already built two so, Academy Bombcats and they were all right kits them actually. Uh, they didn't turn out too bad at all. I did one in like uh, aggressor blue uh, and then I did one uh, on, on flight deck in, in XF80. Uh, and that turned out all right. That's when I just got into weathering sort of thing. So uh, I've plumped for another one. Uh, my mate Jess Coleman, I am Jesse, all right, mate, uh, has sent me this one up, uh, and uh, and I'm going to get a go. I'm not going to bore you to death with opening bags and stuff like that. That's not what I do. Uh, and and if you've seen my videos before, then you already know that. Uh, just going to plump straight into it. I've got a couple of apprehensions about it already because on other tool kits that I've built, uh, there's a seam line on canopy uh, and I've never trekked myself to, to go in and get in that uh, that compound stuff. You know, the three tamis, the coarse, medium and fine and, and proper polishing sticks, I've, I've never bothered with that. So uh, if, if there's a seam line on it, uh, Every time I go to a model show or into a model shop uh, and you think that's what I've got to get I've definitely got to get that today and you're like a kid in a sweet shop aren't you like you, you you focused on it and you think yeah definitely got to oh what's that and you end up buying that kit that <laughs> you know what I mean so it's just one of them I've never got around to building it uh, building it never got around to buying it so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see when I get to Spro. It's a nice box, nice box art as well. Uh, I'll get a quick flick on that. So that's the kit that I've got to build. It's the Hobby Boss 1 in 48 Persian Cat. Uh, I've heard it's called Alley Cat. It says Persian Cat on box. So that was right. You get a couple of boxes inside the actual uh, box as well. Uh, the old separate parts. I've, I've opened the box and I've been through. Uh, I've cut all bags up now already. Uh, like I say, I don't need to bore you with that. I'm just going to show you the beautiful colour call out uh, sheet uh, and it's that one. How gorgeous does that look? But on the other side you get like this blue sort of splinter scheme and then at the bottom you get the sort of like brown uh, splinter as well. But I think, I think I'm going to opt for that one. Uh, decals, let's just have a quick look at decals then. Now, uh, it's thrown me a little bit as this because normally on a Tomcat, let me just take that off. Normally on a Tomcat, I put my eyes on as well, uh, you get sort of like skull and crossbones and stuff, don't you, for fin flashes, but with this one, you don't. There's none of it, none of the above, you just get that. So, I, I know I didn't hold it up long, you have to press pause. And then, you do get, what's that all about? You get this, which is, oh, decal, there, where's my camera? I always keep changing my chuffing phone around, I never know where I am. You'd have thought that I'd just put them all on the same sheet, wouldn't you? Uh, instruction books in five minutes, let's just have a look through the kit first. So I've labelled all my sprues up. I don't get it, I, 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 I don't get it. 26 letters in alphabet and you'd think that they'd say sprue A, B, C, D, E, sprue W, D, aren't there enough letters? You know what I mean? <sighs> I don't chuff in now. Uh, right, sprue W, D, let's just have a quick look. So it's pylons uh, and missiles. Now this kit has got recessed panel lines in it so it'll take a wash. And I suppose with brown, it'll take a dark dirt. That'll be nice. Two of them. You get two of them. WDs, pylons, and a couple of missiles. Uh, 
that's not on a sprue it comes in a separate box that's your bottom uh, on chin up if you remember i said uh were holes are for windows the the strengthening bars in them are, i didn't get that because the holes are so small and you would have thought that on a kit like this that they'd have had some kind of strengthener in here but they aren't uh plastic it's nice plastic and it's there's some lovely detail on it i suppose once wheels go in here and all that sort of bag of machines you know it'll all be strong uh there's no bad seam lines on any of that part at all everything is is really really nice there's a couple of pins uh that's bottom like i said so top sits on top there's a couple of pins so i'm guessing at top there's going to be some holes i've got it here look let's have a look there is so that is gonna go like that that's how it goes isn't it yeah okay so your top part you can always kind of listen solid that nice plastic you know if you've got like an experienced builder and you said and you blindfolded him and you said feel this plastic you'd be able to go that's an airfix kit because you can sort of tell can't you which, which kind of plastic the kits are made out of all, all different manufacturers all seem to make the kits out of different different plastics details really nice uh walkways will go on there they'll be painted on because there's no decal sheet i need to have a look actually and see if there's any walkways painted on this bird and then you've got that's a little bit of nice there look down at bottom if i just show you that one there look air brake nice looks all right that you do get a little bit of photo etching this kit and you get rubber tires uh i do like rubber tires Yo, photo etch you get photo etch in this kit you've got a radar some seat belts and i've no idea what they are i'll show you these ones here look at bottom what's them for do you look up do you know i'll, I'll find out uh now then what we got here sprue n is two wheels and a little bit of office in there okay now then have you ever watched them video not videos you've been on facebook and you've seen them people that come on and say how do you guys cut small parts off i'll show you because every time i cut small parts off they always ping across room <clears throat> they don't need to can you see this small part here look just put a bit of masking tape at the back of it like that and press it on right and then when you come to cut it from this side when you lay it down watch what i do when you put it that way and you put your blade in from that way because you're pressing down that little part sticks to masking tape <coughs> i like that you can have that one for free nose now then, seats. I do like nice seats, uh, and the seat belts on photo etch. Oh, that's nice. Now I've noticed over the last couple of kits that I've built that this has been this particular part has been omitted more times than I care to mention. And I'll show you. It's that and that. For some reason, kits that I've been building over the last couple of months they've just not had the grab handles on and i know that you can make them yourself you can get a little bit of wire and twist it in a drill and paint it and one thing or another personally i prefer it if it's in kit seats as far as detail is concerned they are absolutely loaded with detail loaded proper offer that up like that look at that now obviously the sides of the seats are in the tub and you can't see them but it's just one of them little features as a model builder that we just like to spend that little bit of time on isn't it getting seats right i think when people show pictures on all social media facebook youtube instagram all that sort of stuff seat belts seem to be like a, a par measure don't they that if you if you're good at seats you're good at other stuff and i do like to get my seats right uh sprue a is wings and it's nice to see 
again, they look really narrow, don't they? But you've got slats, wings and flaps. And that's really cool, is that. Uh, that means that it's slats open and flaps down at back for me. Now, the interesting thing there is, you know on the other kits that, uh, your other Tomcat kits on your wings, they've got that, haven't they? Tank got it on here. Can you see? It's just got two holes. And I'm wondering if that means that your wings move independently, so as they're sort of like that, you can do that. Seems a bit strange, that, doesn't it? If you've built that kit, will you let me know? Hobby Boss Persian Cat. Sprue C. What's that all about? What's that? What's this? Is there something missing? No, no missing, no. Uh, air brake is here with detail on inside. You can see. And then this part here, that's your front end. You've got your wheel bay doors, uh, fronts and backs, and it looks like that's your ammunition drum uh, that goes into the front end. I will show you. When I get round to the front end, I'll show you one of the really nice features about this kit. Sprue E is all your small parts, and you can see already, look, I've got a little bit of tape on there. Okay, so that when I come to cut these off from this side, because that's where the part is, once I put my blade in there, and if you press down just right, the part will stick to the tape. It'll save it from Carpet Monster. Carpet Monster, what's that all about? If you do it right, Carpet Monster, you can just put that to bed. Uh, you've got cannon and refueling probe, arrestor hook. See these little bits here? Very fragile, therefore uh, canopy. So where your canopy locks down. So if I'm pilot and your canopy comes down, you've got your two things here, haven't you? That your canopy goes onto it and locks. That's what they are. And then rest of your little bits there. Uh, I've not seen instrument panel yet because I do want to have a look at that. Now then, what's that all about? Oh, so, for so you get a radar in it. You get, uh, is it radar or radome? But you also get that in photo app. So, I know which one I'll be using. Sprue F is all your wheels. Undercarriage. It's all undercarriage by the looks of that. So, again, if I just hold that up there, look, so, let's start down at bottom. So, you've got this one, and then these two, they side walls. You've got a couple of wheels, you've got your undercarriage. Here, look, your left and right. Where's, oh, front one's up here, look, if I put that into shot. Couple of wheels, uh, there, and these, these four, five, six, they make up your... Yeah, you know what I mean. Small parts again, so I'm guessing when I come to build this kit, Sprue F, uh, and it says, like, you get part F30, I'm going to think, ah, oh, sugar. Just know it's small bits. Uh, Sprue B is self-explanatory. There you go. And again, it's halves and halves. Now, what I'm looking for on there is sink marks there's none on outside but there's a ton on inside now <clears throat> when it's it's molding process isn't it that i've learned only from you know guys that i've chatted to and one thing or another uh, but what you don't want from those sink marks especially when they're on inside is that it's bulged onto outside you don't want that uh, and then the other thing to look for especially on wings when you've got a top and a bottom half a wing section that you have to sort of glue together to make the solid wing. Sometimes on inside there's an ejector pin mark and it'll have a little bit of sort of shite on it, won't it, that sort of protrudes down. You've got to make sure that you sand that off. But I didn't see any on them wings, so that's all okay. Put my eyes back on. That's what I'm on about, look. KB. Why don't I just call it like Sprue J or something? There's 26 letters in alphabet, I'll be boss. You know, you didn't need to double up on your letters. 
Sprue KB is pylons and, oh, it's these, look. Can you see? So, these. And if you've built a Tomcat before, you know that they go under, you know, for... Sprue G is exhausts and, oh, it's there. Jesus Christ, they're small. <clears throat> That's a 1 in 48. Look how small that is. This one here and this one. They're bloody tiny, them. If you've ever built a 1 in 48 tornado, it's like the instrument panel is huge. Uh, this one, they must have all been able to fit it in on that tiny little bit. You get your these two and these two. And again, most Tomcat builders, they'll have one open and one closed. Uh... I don't, I have them both closed for, I think it's like for reheat or afterburn or something. Office, I didn't see any decals, did you? No, there's no decals for office. Only if you can get aftermarket for that because, I mean, it's all right. I'm just going to bring it as close as I dare so that it focuses off and pull it back. But you can see here, look, now that's all raised detail in office. So you've got options here, haven't you? You can either prime it, paint it, and then get a cocktail stick or a size five zero brush and start dibbing and dobbing. Or you can paint it white, black, and then with back end of your blade, start scratching back until it shows them white buttons through. That's tend what I tend to do if there's no dental pack for it. Uh, I'm not beginning to spending 14 and 15 quid on a little bit of photo etch. Although it looks nice, don't get me wrong. That coloured photo etch, you know, if it were a couple of quid every time. But I can't justify spending that much money on that. I just can't. Uh, so I'll end up uh, scratching back on that. Sprue Esh, you get two of them. And they're the engines, which look really nice. And I do like this little part here, look. Is that in focus? So it'll sit on top and get a little bit of little bit of theatre, if you will. That looks nice. Now then, this is the sprue that I wanted to show you. Uh, this is sprue D. So on sprue D, uh, obviously at front end you get that one. But if I just whip that over, you get all that exposed. And that's for Canon. Canon, I think, and like electronics housings and things like that. Looks really cool, does that? Spend a bit of detail time on that. These are covered up. These are your intakes, aren't they? And again, if you've built Tomcats, you know that that's... Or even like an SU uh, or a MIG, that they've got them two prongs really very brittle. So that's a nice added touch, Obby Boss. Thank you very much. Couple of sprues to go. We've got two sprue peas, which again is pylons and well fuel tanks I'm mean, yeah they are the fuel tanks I've said before it's retest recess detail so they all look really really nice uh, inside when you open the main box you do get these you get two of these inside it's like, it's like Christmas isn't it it's like oh what's in there uh, that one will fought main body now then one to go I wish I'd have bought that compound. Can you see it saying, God above. I'm going to need a chuffing grinder to get rid of that. Near mind a sanding stick and a bit of paste. That's going back in box. Instructions. So we've done everything there and we've looked at plastic. Looks nice. Looks nice. You know if you're teetering on edge and you think 40 quid hobby boss. £70 Tamiya. I mean, if we'd all got that money, we'd all buy Tamiya one, wouldn't we? But uh, it's it's still all right. It looks really, really nice. Instructions, A, page one and two, you've just got your sprue maps. Uh, right, stage one, I'll flick through it. So stage one, you've got your seats and putting it all together and your tub. Looks all right. And a bit of radar as well down at bottom. Stage two, that's peculiar. Stage two is undercarriage. I wonder why that is. That's why. That's why. Because of that look. 
you have to fit that to that and then put these sides on not my favorite i've got to say not my favorite stage three is lovely that's nice stage three is fitting your cannon and all your electronics into there and then at the bottom it's showing you same but with all the uh with all your doors on so it's telling you look to put all them doors on that one's doors off that one's doors on stage three stage four is wings uh and fitting of slats and flaps stage five is the same but on the other side stage six is engines burnt iron make two <laughs> i'm gonna make one of course i'm gonna make two uh uh that's it look you can see these forks here that's what we're in that protected by that little bit of easy snap does them easy snap seven is main undercarriage and again it's just showing you to make all the housings uh build all your undercarriage up and fit all that again what a peculiar way to build so you've got some kind of intake that goes behind your intake that goes up in front of your engine and then that sits inside that hole there how weird is that stage eight is the top of your body air brake uh, and the wing vents and for some peculiar reason don't we all laugh when we see that look at that stage eight showing you to put aerials on not happening is it oh now then there you go so that's what i want about earlier on look can you see how you've got that on both sides and we normally get that don't we <clears throat> bit weird is that stage nine is your vertical stabilizers uh 10 is fitting your canopy and your nose cone uh and then <clears throat> they'll fit in that to that i've never done one of them before because the academy ones it's uh stage 11 is <clears throat> fitting all your bits which is what stage eight should have been stage or oh, including your arrestor hook that looks nice uh stage 12 is pylons just putting them on last stage is fuel tanks and the mim 23 a's uh, they must be just f for this particular variant of aircraft because normally is it is it phoenix that we get or oh, maverick oh, it's phoenix isn't it them phoenix missiles that the americans use you know they're 13 foot long then 13 foot long kit looks absolutely fantastic how long have i been going 23 minutes kit looks fantastic i love that uh detail on the <laughs> shall i say on near side on passenger side uh that looks really really cool because you can put your cannon in there and then there's sort of like I, i've i've never been fortunate enough to have one of them kits that has the doors what your pilot sort of stands on uh I, i've always had kits that have had a ladder on so I'm looking forward to just tiny little detail like that. When you get a new kit and you think, yeah, that looks really cool. I've never done that before. Well, I've never done that before. So looking forward to that. As far as paint schemes are concerned, I do like that sort of beigey one with the, you know, the darker brown and the green. I don't, I'm not fancying the blue one. I think it's just going to be too stark. And I think the splinter beige and brown, uh, I think that the colours are just going to be so similar it'll just not stand out enough so full beige masked off uh, and again I'm going to use uh, blue tack this time for the first time uh, just to get a feathered edge and see how I go with that uh, Alistair absolutely swears by it he uses it all the time there's quite a few lads at club as well that use, a, use that method I don't uh, normally I just use uh, that white Tammy a bendy tape stuff, but I'm going to have a go with blue tack this time. It looks really, really nice. Like I say, I've built two already, two Tomcats. I love the bird. I think it's uh, such a phenomenal piece of engineering. Uh, I love absolutely everything about it. 
just the sheer size of the bloody thing that it lands on on a boat uh it is like it's just mind-boggling itself isn't it is if you've ever seen one they are incredibly big uh and, and and the power that they've got and you think how the christ does that land on a canoe uh because they're absolutely enormous uh and i do like that feature about a tomcat uh which is why i love tornadoes as well uh didn't see a lot of flash uh, and again, I'm not particularly bothered about that because we can cut that off and we can sand it off, can't we? It's sanding sticks. It didn't look like there were too much uh, in terms of ejector pin marks. That all looked all right. When you're doing an inbox review, uh, you've got absolutely no idea how it's going to turn out because people say, oh, this looks nice and this looks nice and one thing or another. When you actually come to fit the thing together uh, and it don't fit, all that thing that you said three four five days ago about oh this looks nice it's gone out of window hasn't it whether it looks nice or not it, it counts for no really it's how it fits near mind how it looks so but <laughs> i'm going to contradict myself now it does look like a really nice kit plastic on it is is solid it's not that soft stuff uh just a real shame about that canopy if you're watching this video now, 26 and a half minutes, if you know, if you know that, leave, leave a comment if you want, I mean I'm not, I'm not fussed, I'm not one of these YouTubers that's got 20 million subscribers, I think I've got 63, uh, I might have 64 after this, but if you've used those compounds, I'm a little bit worried that, you know, it's just going to turn out wrong and what you don't want to do is build a kit and get that far into it and get it all laid and dope, painted, gloss, deckled, weathered, beautiful. And then it comes to the canopy and you think, right, here we go. And you've knackered it up because it just, it's soul destroying, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure you'd agree. If you've ever used those compounds, uh, do, you, do I need different sanding sticks? Do I need like an 8,000 to 3,000 to 300? What? I, I've absolutely no idea. So any help on that, feel free to ping me. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Or, or just drop me a comment at the end of this. You know, look, Mark, you've got no to worry about, mate. A little bit of that compound on the cloth. I've watched the videos. I sort of know it in theory. Uh, but I also know brain surgery in theory because I've seen videos on that as well but I won't go and start dissecting my missus uh, do you know what I mean uh, we can all watch videos on how to do stuff but actually doing it totally different thing if you've ever done it and you think actually I can reassure this guy that if he makes a start he'll be alright then feel free to drop me a line uh, it's just going to get shelved now for a couple of weeks because I've got the Chinook to finish off as soon as I've done that, I'll make a start, uh, and then we'll see how we get on. 28 and a half minutes, thanks a lot for watching, uh, hope it's been informative enough for you, and uh, cheers, catch you later.